rugged north all the way down to the beautiful south, the centre, the east, the west, doesn't matter where, from travel to tips and all sorts of other things for driving, you've come to the right place. Come for a ride with us at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Tour. G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today we're at Maxwell's Flat Campground and I really don't know the name of the park we're in. I'll put that up on the screen. It comes from Nodding Bull Road, it's the Sells River region, but like I said, I'll put the name up on the screen. I'll give you a look at it. This part here is where Kaz and I have camped down the bottom, so you get three or four vehicles in here, or tents, camper trailers, whichever. It's a little lower bit. As you saw, there's a fire pit down there. You go up a little rise here, and there's a fireplace up on here. Now, Kaz and I have camped here before. We camped up on this bit, a little bit flatter. So quite good as you can see in the distance I won't disturb all the other campers that are here there's plenty of room there for several tents camper trailers whichever number few big fire pits it's alongside a little river Maxwell's flat I can show you a little bit of it here this river pretty well surrounds the, uh, the whole campground and for those who saw moon and flat I'm not going to fall over on this one so there's a part of a little river there it's very pretty it's not very high at the moment and that goes right around the campground pretty well we actually drove through part of it like a little river crossing to get in we came in from the Tap and Tops end via Causeway Road. But I think the more popular way of coming in is from the Nodding Bull Road end, more towards the Oxley Highway. This is popped back out, as you can see. A few more fireplaces. That's the other guys that are camping. They've got the middle, flattest section. Now, as you can see, this particular campground has drop toilets, so that's nice. And uh, it's in reasonable condition. Like I said, there's some dips down there, which make it a bit hard, but I guess you could camp in the middle if you're in a swag or a tent without any problem. So I reckon you can get half a dozen decent groups of people in here. Of course, they get a bit crowded. But, you know, we've got four vehicles, basically three camps, and uh, it's not too bad. This is the condition of the roadway down from the Oxley Highway end. It's pretty well like that most of the way from memory. 
So what can you do here? Obviously, you're camping in the bush. So that's the main thing, getting away from the towns. There's a little river. I have no idea if there's fish in it. It is very shallow, so you'd have a go. But uh, my memory would suggest if you're coming down from Oxley Highway end, you can get down here in anything. Four-wheel drive, preferred method, of course. But I think you could get down here in a road car. Um, camper trailers, no trouble. I've had one here before. Off-road caravan, I reckon to get down here from that end. Tents and swags, pretty well a given. So it's a, it's a nice little camp. And uh, it's very clean. I've happily not found any rubbish here. So uh, that's good. Yeah, either Luke, the drifter's campaign for Respect the Bush is already in full swing, or people here have been onto it and tried to look after it in the first place, which is nice. This is the little river crossing we did coming from Causeway Road. Nothing hard about it, but on the other side, it's dry today, but on the other side, there's several bog holes. So when it's wet, it'll be a challenge in, and that'd be four drive only. But coming from that other way, the Nodding Bull Road end, I think you'd be pretty safe. So I'm not sure what else I can tell you about this. There's a little semi secluded camping through here. It's got this bit of a motorbike slash Suzuki Sierra track getting to there. But you can camp down to this bit as well. A little bit more isolated if you're solo camping. Because there's not much room in there for a lot. But there's definitely a couple of little extra spots under these trees and closer to the water. As you can see, there's another fireplace just here. And most of the fireplaces don't seem to be utilized much. The bigger ones at the middle uh, seem to be more popular. Kaz and I used this big one here last night because it was established already. So why do a new one? So that's pretty well all there is about this one. I can't tell you a lot more. It's just a nice little open area. Not too far from the Oxley Highway. So for those who are not aware as to where the Oxley Highway is, it's the road uh, between Warhope and uh, further inland. <laughs> Walker, I think. Forgive me if I'm wrong, guys. But uh, that makes it four bit four plus hours out of Sydney, maybe more, maybe five. So that's Maxwell's flat campground. It may even be State Forest. I actually don't know. As I said, I would have already put up what it is uh, on the screen earlier. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. It's only short and sweet. Can't tell you too much about a smallish campground. But uh, anyway, if you did like this, throw a like on it. Hopefully you do. If you're new here, uh, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, click the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I put up a new video. And if you old hands, thanks again for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips and we will see you guys on the next one. All the best, cheers.